collective flowers, flowers, flowers. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Mm -hmm. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Adana, also known as the Afro Zen. Today we're here for the beautiful and handsome collective. Hi, collective. How you doing? Yeah, how you doing? <laughs> flowers, flowers, flowers. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. To book a private reading with me or to shop in my store, all that information is in the description box below. All right, so don't forget to grab your copy of your book here, Ink and Emotions, a poetry journal. All right, this book is an uh, international seller, yes. Um, and I'm so grateful for all of the immense support and love um, that you guys have shown me. It's it just makes me go even harder. So, yeah, I, I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. Um, thank you for the shares, the donations, the super chats, you know, um, word of mouth. Just, I'm, I'm just grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so let's see. <laughs> let's see what's good. Huh? <laughs> Somebody listening to Genesis. Protection is in reverse. We have aquatic. Someone's drowning. Metaphorically, they're drowning. They don't feel safe. They don't feel protected. They feel like a walking target. Genius is in reverse. Could be a cancer. It could have picked up around cancer season, which would have been last month. We're in August. I believe June and July is cancer. They don't feel smart anymore. They feel very vulnerable and open because you are aware of everything they have done and it has put them in their feelings here. It could be a Virgo or a cancer. They feel like they're left to fend for themselves or they feel like they've been thrown to the wolves by spirits. They also feel like they can't fight back or they don't have the capacity or the energy to fight back because everything is just falling not only around them, but in them as well, too. So the foundation that they the faulty foundation that they created with other people's energy and just, you know, based on lies, things that nature has finally fell down here and it's like they're trying to sift through the sand foundation that they've created for themselves here and for others and they can't get out of that. They, they, they're, they're like sifting, they're like in quicksand, they're trying to get out of the situation that they place themselves in here and they're having a very, very, very hard time getting out of this here. The aquatic can also mean that they're very deep within their emotions, so it could be a water sign here. A low vibrational water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here that are drowning in their emotions or all they do is just cry. Cry to the point where they don't even have enough tears left because they just, they, they're all cried out because they don't understand how they are getting the severity of all of this karma all at once. It's very heavy for them. Very, very heavy. And they don't feel smart enough to get out of the situation. They feel stuck. Bravery is in reverse. It's like every time they attempt to try to do something towards you, they feel the backlash or they feel the backfire like instantaneously and it scares them. So it kind of points, all points are directed towards you collective in regards to who you truly are. This person, a group of people here don't feel like you are of, of, of human. You're not a human. They feel like you're like some form of an alien or like extraterrestrial. Like it's just something about you that's just not normal in their eyes. 
of course, a karmic will say something like that when all the karmas now finally rearing this ugly head and it's being pushed right in front of their face for them to see they can't handle their own energy. So, of course, they're going to say some weird stuff like that. They want this to end. They want this karma to end. They're willing to do anything for it to end. Well, if you're willing to do anything for it to end, then continue going through it so that way it can end. Because that's the only way it's going to end is by you going through it, karma. You're not getting out this karma. So, ain't amount of sorry or anything. You're not getting out this karma. You're staying right in that MF. Okay? Staying right in it, boo. That's what you wanted. That's what you get. Could be a Leo. Somebody listen to Genesis. I just keep hearing, what is happening? Why is this happening to me? This should be happening towards the collective. Ah, uh, no, don't bring that trash over here, Karmic. We're going to send that back right back to you. I'll return all that BS back to you, Karmic. No. Play hot potato with your, play hot potato, you can play hopscotch. You could even jump rope with your karma. However way you see fit, boo, but that's your energy that you have to sit and deal with. Not the collective here. They don't feel as smart as you. They keep feeling outsmarted by you and that really irritates them. But they don't want other people to see that the things that they're doing towards you have completely failed. So there's like they're keeping their low vibrational mindsets or lack of mindset to themselves because you can see the whole so if they're having a conversation right and they're lying you can see through the holes like you can actually see where they're lying and that bothers it bothers them to no end you got somebody real frazzled because you just keep speaking the truth and the truth keep triggering them they can't take the truth is too triggering or their truth is too triggering of self they can't take it so it makes them feel less than high self-esteem is in reverse it makes them feel like they're not smart they're not smart <laughs> we got std here they thought they could bamboozle you or swindle you um into having relations with them, but no, that's no. Mm -mm. Like intuitive is in reverse. They didn't. They did not expect for you to use your intuit your intuition. They expect for you to just take things at face value based on what they said here. Uh uh. No. Mm -mm. This could be a fake emperor. It could be a Scorpio. A fake emperor. That's a Scorpio here. Yeah, there's a masculine here. But please remember, this is not going to resonate for everybody. And I'm only going on based on what I see here, okay? But there's a fake emperor here that don't feel smart. They feel they feel outsmarted by you. And they don't like th this particular person I'm speaking about, okay? This person feels because this particular person, this particular fake emperor, a Scorpio fake emperor here, thinks that... Um, they should always have control over a situation or over the situation here because they are a man or they're very, they come off as very masculine. They're not masculine at all. They're a fake emperor. There's nothing masculine about this individual here. This person doesn't even feel smart. They, they feel very trying to make sure I use, you know, <laughs> they don't, they don't feel smart. They feel less than with their mind. If you catch my drift. They feel like their mind is very elementary, very primitive. They don't feel smart. They don't feel advanced. They don't feel intelligent because you keep one-upping or you keep basically destroying their lives with the truth. And they, they can't stand that. It's, it's ripping them apart. It's tearing up my heart when I'm with you. And when we are apart, I feel it too. And no matter what I do, I, die. I don't remember all the words. I believe that's NSYNC or Backstreet Boys. One of them. They could be Backstreet Boys. 
don't know, but they was popping back in the day, okay? Somebody can listen to the Spice Girls too. We got a legal activity here. What's the legal activity? Miscarriage. Um. So miscarriage, I don't believe it's pregnancy in this instance here. Illegal activity is low vibrational Scorpio. I feel like they're trying to, oh, okay. They're trying to abort ship or they're trying to miscarry or they're trying to discontinue the things that they're attempting to do towards you here because it's bringing out more of the illegal activities that they have done from the past. This person has a lot of secrets in their past here and um, it's causing them to be very impulsive because it's like, shut up, shut up, stop talking. Uh, you, karmic, okay, stop doing it, boom. Okay, once you stop doing it, then the collective gonna stop speaking. It's that simple. When you stop, we gonna stop. But until then, like Puff Daddy said, won't stop, won't stop. However, if you won't stop, we ain't gonna stop, okay? Take that, take that. Uh, okay, stank bud. <laughs> How you gonna be a bully and a thief? Child, please. You got a bully that's a thief but scared because all they all they all they secrets out. Oh well. That's on you, boo. <laughs> that's on you. You got this person deep in their mind, child. This is a a, a a a masculine here who really feels like they because they could be stronger than you. Okay, this could be against another masculine or it could be against a feminine, however it resonates. But there's a masculine here, low vibrational masculine who really thinks that because they come off as stronger that you need to listen to them or you need to abide by their rules. Child, please. But this person's in the corner somewhere in the dark crying. <laughs> so masculines do do spell work as well too especially the low vibing ones okay so i want to make that clear and also people that that are very adamant or very uh judgmental or very triggering when you may speak of like spell work or spirituality or things of that nature they're the first one i don't do that i don't do that i don't do that you're you're telling you're basically just giving yourself away so this person do do spell work here <laughs> Man, they do spell work here, but it backfired on their family and they're burnt out. And they are so confused because they were sending all this energy towards you and it was supposed to make you confused. It was supposed to make you burnt out, but you didn't do anything to this person here. You could have been living with this person at one point in time. They're very unloyal. They're going through financial ruins. I love the word ruins, financial ruins at this moment here. They can't get out of it. And it's funny how, because Scorpio is the only, I think Scorpio, did, Leo, Scorpio and Leo came out. So it could be a masculine Scorpio or, or a masculine Leo, low vibrational. Aquatic is here. And it's funny that aquatic is here because aquatic represents emotions. And this person is drowning in their emotions here, like really bad. They don't know what to do. And they don't feel brave here. Because they, they, they don't even want to speak about you anymore. They're so upset and angry at you that they realize that every time they speak of you, they just get, they, the, the karma just worsens. It just gets deeper. It just gets deeper. And they're like, what the F? What the F? What the F? What is going on? Stop talking about the collective. Leave the collective's name out your nasty, foul mouth, karmic. Go about your life, boo. Leave the collective alone. You're not understanding that you cannot touch the collective. You still want some more katas from spirit and divine? All right. We'll take this L and this L and this L and this L, karmic. Keep taking the Ls, karmic, because clearly you're not understanding here that you cannot speak ill about the collective or towards the collective. But who don't hear or feel? Who don't hear or feel? They don't feel smart here because all the things that they have done in regards to their thieving life, because this person is a complete thief. All they do is, is thief, 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 and thief. Steal from people. They go. They might steal the underwear off you if you're not even paying attention to this dust mites of, of, of a set of cesspits of Hawkeye spit. Yuck. Somebody drinking to escape.
that's crazy. You're not even man enough to 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 carry on or to handle the the karma. I, you you should be if you if you strong like you say you are karma. You should be able to handle this. I'm not understanding why you can't handle this. This is gonna be a father figure, a grandfather figure, an ex, an ex boyfriend, an ex husband. However, it resonates here. The low vibrational. There's no changes coming to them. No positive changes are coming to them. <laughs> They're even thinking about ways to try to come towards you, plotting on you. Uh, when I say this person or this group of people, however, resonate, their energy is so open. Like anyone that can see here, anyone that can see you literally can just see all their vulnerabilities. This person is so afraid. They don't want you to know that they're afraid. They come outside like if they do come outside, which I don't feel. They only come out when they need whatever their food or whatever replenishes, whatever they need to replenish for the home. But they don't they don't go outside like that. They're very paranoid. They look through the blinds and they look through the window or the curtains to see if anyone's watched them. You got a person very paranoid and you ain't even do nothing to them. They very paranoid. I know what I'm talking about. Grief and fear. Fear and grief. And that was successful. Yeah. They wanted you to be in fear. They wanted you to be in grief over them. And I don't see why. Why would you be in fear or grief over a dust mite? That's not that's not helping society grow in any type of way, shape, or form. No. <laughs> uh-uh. No, here. Mm-mm. They're going through tumultuous adversities. Now all they want is peace. The only way that you will receive peace, karmic, is, when, is if and when you go through the whole totality of your karma. And that's years of karma. <laughs> you think you're just going to get karma for a couple of days and going to end that way? No. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. Nope. They're begging for jobs. They don't have any money to pay anything, so they're begging. You know, hey, can you help me out? Can you this? Can you that? They're calling around, asking for positions, calling for work. They're not receiving anything. That's because they were always partying. They never took life serious. Partying was was their number one way of just, I guess, coping with life here. They never, they were never serious. Excuse me, the money that they did receive, they would just spend it on egregious things. Drugs, alcohol, other people. And then when it comes time for them to take care of home or whatever, they weren't able to. If this person has a child or children, however, it resonates here. So far, I said Leo and Scorpio, low vibrational Leo. And low vibrational Scorpio, okay? If this person has child or children here, they will be taken away from them. Mm -hmm. They're going through a lot of illegal issues. This person scours the internet in regards to spell work here. Any spell work that they decide to use or do towards you collective, it's just going to backfire and want to them. Groupie as well, too. They also, they love watching tarot, too. Something that they may not tell you, but they love watching tarot or Oracle to see if they can get an insight in regards to what you're doing and more so an uh, insight in regards to how they can beat you, okay? They're also getting um, a lot of misconstrued or a lot of false information in regards to you, okay? They don't know how tarot or Oracle works, clearly. <laughs> yeah, they're haunted. They're haunted by just meeting you. They, they feel... Very deep within, a very strong hate for you. The more they hate, the more hate they throw towards you, the deeper the karma is. When I say that spirit got them completely uh, sequestered and cut off from every angle of their life, they've never seen anything like it. Ever, 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 ever seen anything like it. Fake accounts are here. So if you may have blocked this person from social media here, they are watching you for fake accounts. But that will, soon enough, that won't be any any. It won't be much longer, to be honest with you, because they're they're they are so strained by life. They're so strained that they don't have money. They're so strained that they're getting sick. Um, it's like all of the so-called attacks that they try to push onto you here. They don't have time to focus on it because of life. Life is lifing right now in a very negative way, 
and they, they can't handle that. It's like, oh, get me out of, get me out of here. Get me out of here, I wanna get out of here. Uh, no. <laughs> you gonna sit in that car, my boo. Mm. Okay, you gonna sit in that. Ten of Swords, yeah, if they have a family, their family is broken up. They have family members that are sick because of the actions that they decided to do. The impulsive actions here with the Knight of Swords. So far, we have Ten of Swords and the Knights of Swords with the Five of Swords as well, too. That's a lot of swords, a lot of mental. We also have the High Priestess here, so you are aware of what's going on. You don't have to be around this person. You don't have to talk to this person to not be aware of what's going on. And they don't like that as well. They don't like the fact that they don't know what you got going on. Um, they don't like the fact that, that they don't know what you got going on. But you are aware of everything that they got going on here. They don't like it at all. So that's why they don't see you as normal or like human like they see you as some form of like an alien or something because there's no way no way possible that you should be knowing all the things that they're doing when they're like off the scene they're quiet behind the scenes they're not like on social media they're not posting anything they're like hiding from the world but you're still able to get a big glimpse or peek in regards to what they're going through here and it, it really bothers them it spooks them out here they feel terrorized by you knowing what's going on without you talking to them or have a communication with them. Because it's like, what the F? What the F? What the F? What the F? How do you know that? Again, they be asking the wrong questions, the wrong stupid questions at that. Never ever ask the collective, how do we know what we know? That it has nothing to do with you. Ask yourself, karmic, why are you doing the things that you're doing that is getting you to be exposed for the big piece of nastiness that you are? Ask yourself that question. Don't question the collective. You have no permission or you're not even qualified to ask those type of questions towards the collective. Get your act together or get it together, karmic. We have eight of swords here. And not only is, I tell you, all these swords, this person losing their mind. Eight of swords and four of swords. person losing their mind or group of people however it resonates your protection is so overwhelming to them that they don't they don't they tell the other people don't speak ill of you i mean it's all these swords yeah. mm. it's too much swords here eight of cups three of swords ace of swords it's way too much swords here you got somebody in their mind child like deep in their mind They are in their mind. They just keep playing over the turn of events in regards to what they've done towards you here. They're wishing that they never met you. So it's given Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. They're wishing that they never met you, but they're also wishing that some kind of pain or something um, happens to you. Just send that right back. Send that BS right back. Send that BS right back. Send that energy right back to them. Um, I keep hearing turn me on again. That's my Genesis. You got the Ten of Swords, Knights of Swords, Four of Swords, Eight of Swords, Three of Swords, Ace of Swords. That's, that's most of the swords in this deck. And then you're coming out with the Six of Wands here. You defeated this person. Or your team handled this person. I don't know who though. I don't know who they thought you were, <laughs> collective. They getting a huge rude awakening in regards to who they thought you were. <laughs> we have no wow, God, we nine of swords. Wow. This person cannot stay out their mind. They can't stay out their head. They keep replaying all of the hurtful things that they have done towards you here, they feel really guilty. It's making them sick. Stress. They're stressed to the max. They really thought you was sweet, boo. They really thought you was weak, which is crazy to me. 
They really thought you were weak. They can't handle this. They can't handle this backlash. They can't. They can't handle it. They can't handle it. This person cries so hard, so immensely. They are so regretful for what they've done. They are so regretful. They don't want anything happening to their family. And it is. It is what it is. They've been praying for protection over their family. No, sorry. Mm -mm. Not even sorry, but no, it wasn't granted. Like they were saying, if 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 I just take the karma and leave my family out of it, they, they can that that will be more feasible. But that's not how this works here. You don't get to pick and choose how your karma is going to play out, karmic. You were warned not to do this. And I'm going to always keep saying it. I don't care who I trigger when I say this. You were warned not to do this. You were profusely warned over the years not to do this. If you do this, it's not going to end well. You were warned and you decided not to take the gracious warnings or heed, heedings from the collective. So now you're on your own, buddy. You're on your own. Justice is in reverse. And I get no justice. Why should your family be protected, but the collective the collective shouldn't be protected? It don't work that way. That's confirmation. They've seen a lot of things happening within their family dynamic, and it's scaring them there because it, it's more of like an emasculation that's happening, but the spirits are doing it. They feel very emasculated by spirits. That's crazy. They feel so emasculated by, by spirits here. Because they can't fight a spirit. <laughs> they can feel them, but they can't fight them off. And that's what's bothering them. Watching their loved ones go through a lot of pain and suffering because of the actions that they decide to take. <laughs> so this is why they don't feel so... They're in silence, complete silence. They're in shock. Shock and silence. I think that would be the... <laughs> I think that would be the name of it. Shock of silence. Do you have any work for me? Can I work for you? Do you have anything? And no, 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 no. They have nothing. Nothing. That's what happens when you're mean to people unnecessarily. Silence is here. I think I've mentioned that already. They're trying to use their mind. Silence here. They're trying to figure out a game plan to get out of this, and they're not. They truly don't understand just how severe this karma is, and it's just the beginning. <laughs> it's years of this. Not just a couple days, not no couple weeks, not no couple months. It's years of this, but it's all here. And because they are keep replaying the same thing over and over and over, it's manifesting here. And it's making them weak. They don't know what to do. you going to pray to something that you don't believe in <laughs> mm. spirit like well if you don't believe in me the divine like if you don't believe in me why should i believe in you that kind of way hey hey they don't have any blueprints they don't have any plans they don't they feel very emasculated by spirit they truly do. They feel weak. They're going to surrender. They're not going to have a choice. They're going to surrender. Because the way that karma is piling up on them, they're going to surrender. They ain't got no choice but to. They can't focus on you at this moment. Or they're soon not to focus on you at this moment. Because the way... It's like Tetris. Remember Tetris? 
and um especially when you're going up in the levels tetris gets a little bit harder by it gets fast so you have to be very um you have to stay very diligent and diligent in regards to uh changing the shapes to ensure that it fits perfectly in the different types of you know puzzles that it gives to you here and over time when you make it to the top and it has that red line and it will give you like a warning sign but the blocks will just keep coming in real fast and if you're not able to keep up you're going to basically fail at that that uh challenge that's what's happening here you guys remember the game anticipation on um nintendo anticipation i believe was like a three-tiered game and it had different types of um objects like a shoe i think it had a guitar it was kind of similar to monopoly not as much but you would answer certain questions and i think it was um it was like a wheel of fortune type of thing um where you had to fill in certain blanks to get to the next level like this is what this person they're trying to fill in the blanks to get to the next level or to get out of this karma that they put themselves in here they're really struggling here because of the backfired magic that has been happening here. And someone, sh this person's child or children could be sick. Faith is in reverse. Protection is in reverse. This is a Leo, a low vibrational Leo or a low vibrational Scorpio. So far, those are the only two uh, cards that came out or signs that came out so far. They're angry, but this is displaced or misplaced anger is what that is here. And they're very frustrated because of the disruption that they're, they're encountering in their life here. There's also a, a, an immense amount of sadness here. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. They don't pray themselves out of this, trying to hide from the world. Like They thought, they thought if they hid from the world um, that nothing would happen to them. But that's just not how spirit works. Spirit is everywhere. Y'all keep thinking that we're only here by ourselves. Y'all need to think, rethink that again because we're not. <laughs> Many different types of spirits that walk this earth. It's not just us. <laughs> and especially if you're using spell work here, it could be a mature man. So it could be like a father figure, a grandfather. It could be an ex-boyfriend, an ex-husband, whatever, however here. But it's a, it's, it's a low vibrational, very, very low vibrational mask in here that is really struggling. Really, really, really really struggling and they have no one to blame but themselves here with this concern it's like god what did i do what did i do oh god what did I... like that that's them in the corner somewhere in their home their home or their box or wherever they live at y'all yeah in their house I can't pay my bills I can't pay this I can't pay that well I mean why would you come up against the collective why would you see the collective and think that the collective was weak? Why would you think that? Why would you think that it was A-OK -okay to cause chaos or harm towards the collective when they didn't do anything to you? Why? Why, Karmic? They never have an answer, child. So this person is going to run themselves here. And they're not even going to be able to pay for this. <laughs> so, I mean, I know what I'm talking about. They're keeping it quiet from the family that they're sick. Because they're trying to figure out how to stay afloat. You're not going to stay afloat. I'm not sugarcoating it for you, Karmic. You're not going to stay afloat. You, you're, you're going to be under. Asunder, under, yeah. You're going to plunder. You sure am. And everybody gonna see, boo. They don't want nobody to see that. Well, you should never came up against the collective. You should have left well all alone. Should have went about your day. No, no, and no. Okay, well... They're very concerned about a child. Very concerned. Very concerned. Somebody literally sits in a room in like a rocking chair or like a reclining chair and they, they, they're in disbelief. They're in disbelief as to how their life has turned out. They can't believe that they're actually going through the things that they're going through. And you warn this person, leave it alone. Go away. Just leave it alone. They refuse to listen. They refuse. They refuse to listen.
It karma is nasty. You hear me? It's nasty. It's nasty. Nasty. They even calling on God. Oh, God, help me. That's crazy. When you turned your back on God, you turned your back. He didn't believe in the highest source. Now you need the help. I don't, I don't. Somebody eating string beans. You could add some corn or something in the string beans or something. Somebody's making turkey or turducken. I believe that's turkey mix, mixed with duck or something. Or somebody could be air frying the turkey or, um, is that right? Air frying the turkey or fried turkey, I believe. You're air frying turkey. I just keep hearing air frying turkey. What do they normally do during Thanksgiving? They fry it, right? Not air fry, but that's what keep coming out. So you could be air frying turkey or um, you could be... I want to see a fried turkey. I think that's a staple during the Thanksgiving holidays, if I'm not mistaken here. I've never had it before, but that's just what keeps popping up for me. Somebody's making like, yeah, somebody's having Thanksgiving. I know Thanksgiving is uh, different in many parts of the world. So uh, maybe Thanksgiving is coming up for someone, whoever's watching me from wherever you're watching me from in the part, different parts of the world. I know for a fact, I believe Canada is different from the United States. I believe... I'm not too sure about that one. Yeah, this person feels weak. They look frail. Like if they were to, if you were to see them, their pants don't fit them. They have to hold up their, their, their pants just to, you know, they're losing a lot of weight. It could be from hunger too. It's bad. It's really bad. Man, it's bad. It's the stress. And this is going to lead to someone having a myocardial infarction, a heart attack. They are so weak in the heart. Productivity is in reverse. This person is going to shrivel up like a prune. I ain't, you know, I ain't trying to be funny, but hey, it, it just don't, it don't look good. It just doesn't look good for this individual, this group of people, whatever. It don't look good whatsoever. This thing don't, this is my funeral dress. It's going to shock people. This person may pass in a home fantasy. They could have been thinking about doing things to you in a home if you were living with this person at one point in time, but you freed yourself from this individual and their 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 BS tactics here, and now they have to answer to the divine, and they they, they don't want to, or they are afraid to. Mystical experiences. Five five represents change. They're looking for remedies online, technology. They're using a computer here to get this curse off of them or off their bloodline. Like they're, how do you remove a curse? How do you reverse a curse? Because this person's working very feverishly. You might not be able to see because of the way that the texture of the, the actual card is, but I'll try to uh, pinpoint what I'm speaking about here. So you see this woman, you see the silhouette. Or it could be a man too, however. But you see the silhouette of this person. You see their hand here with the computer right here. And these are spirits here. Little spirits here that are around them here that they don't see. Because they're so, they're into the computer and they're trying to figure out ways to remove this curse. And they can't remove it. Healing is in reverse. They can't remove it. The more they attempt to remove it, the worse it is. Just, look, 
Scorpios on here. I'm just putting it upright so you can see. It's, it's a low vibrational Scorpio. That's suffering. They suffering bad. If they had any gifts of any kind, like magical gifts, it's no longer. Telepathically, nothing. They, they, they. Damn, this person's ending is only very harsh, sad. Yeah, they brought forth unwanted attention. They thought that you were going to like attack them or do something towards them or bring someone to argue or fight with them. No, you just release them to spirit and you let your team handle it. <laughs> that's it. That's all. They feel like you're responsible for their karma. You're not. Or you're responsible for what for why they're going through what they're going through. You're not. You release it and you say, hey, God, hey, spirit. You know, take care of this. And that's what you did. And it was successful. You got every right to protect yourself, boo. <laughs> you can surrender things. Now they feel limited or even more limited here because they can't get out of this. They feel shackled. Feel shackled by karma. Oh, cancer came out too. So we have cancer... We have Leo and Scorpio. Sad. It's sad. All because they wanted to bully you. And they're seeking guidance. There's other people that's praying for them. They're getting caught up. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. So it looks like extended family members or whoever, nuclear or whatever here that is praying for them here are getting backlash too. Hey, this karma is bad. This karma is bad. It's bad. They're seeking guidance. From other people, like, please pray for me, pray for me. Yeah, don't be so open with that, with that, with that request from, from everybody, because not everybody want the want want the best for you. But in this instance here, they're they're reaching out to family and they're telling them what's going on here. And they are family members, like elder family members that are praying. But guess what's happening to the elder family members? They're getting sick from praying to get this person out of like something, get them, and they want redemption. <laughs> That you say y'all don't y'all don't know how this works, man. Clearly, clearly y'all don't know how this works. And you're seeing people who thinking that they're on the right side of things. You're seeing them fall. They they just praying for karma. That's what it is because they think that they think that this karmic is. On the up and up, they think that the, the karmic is telling the truth and they're not. And this karmic is not even realizing that they're putting their own family members exactly where they are. I'm hearing go to church, go to church. Someone is telling this person, a group of people, however, resonates, they're telling them to go to church here to seek redemption. <sighs> Why are y'all trying to do all this stuff now when y'all were given copious amount of warnings to just stop and go away and not do any of this to begin with? Why y'all couldn't listen to the warnings then? Why does it have to take for something bad to happen for someone to truly understand, hey, I shouldn't do that. I should walk away. Maybe, you know what I mean? Why does it always have to take for something very drastic for you to happen, for you to understand, okay, let me not do that again. If somebody is giving you warnings in a very gracious, in a very healthy and abundant way, you should take heed to it. And stop trying to think that everybody's trying to play you or one-up you or whatever. <laughs> This person don't even realize, or this group of people don't even realize that they're putting the people that they want to pray for them, they don't even realize that they're stripping them away from being able to pray. You can't pray for everybody. You cannot. You can't. You can't pray for everybody. You just can't. Not everybody has good intentions. 
And this karmic don't even realize the backlash of what they did or attempt to do towards you. They don't even realize how severe it's affecting the whole bloodline. They don't understand. They just know they're going through what they're going through and they want out. Uh, you ain't getting out of it. You're not getting out of it. No matter what you say, no matter what you do, you can cry crocodile tears. You can cry real tears. Either or, you ain't getting out of this. Ironclad steel tight, ear seal tight. You're not getting out of this. We got fresh start in reverse. They're not getting out of it. I don't know how y'all want me to spin it. They're not getting out of it. They put themselves there. They thought you were weak. Okay. Whatever. Now they burdened with immense grief because of the great crumble. Why would you be doing spell work towards the collective in the first place? Answer that question. Why do you feel that you can play God in the collective's life and you can do whatever it is that you want to do with no repercussions, karmic? Answer that question. You have answers for everything else but that. Why did you do this in the first place? Why didn't you just move away or walk away from things that no longer served you? Because the collective no longer served you. But you wanted to subdue the collective. You wanted the collective to be in such a forced, enforced environment that you don't even realize for yourself that now you're in an enforced or a very sticky situation of an environment that you can't handle. You can't handle your own energy because this is all this is. This is your own destructive energy being pushed back onto you and you can't take your own filth. You sullied the place, you sullied the environment, and you can't take your own sulliness of your environment, your own nastiness of your own environment, karmic. Ain't that something? Now you're trying to tidy up. What are you trying to tidy up? You can't tidy up karma, bruh. What are you trying to tidy up? <sighs> They don't want to be in this position anymore. Oh, well, that's on you. Attachment in here. And they have lots of attachments to them. A lot of spiritual attachments to them. Friends will carry you, but they'll never bring you back. You begging for jobs? Why are you begging for jobs? Why are you be? Why are you begging? Period. Begging, begging don't look good. <laughs> you begging for jobs because you can't find a job? That's your fault, Karmic. You can't pay for your bills. You can't pay your car note. You can't put food on the table. That's your fault, Karmic. Because you thought that you could play with spirits, and you did play. You got played really bad. Really, really, really bad. Now you want to say, oh, mercy, mercy, I'm sorry. Uh, no. Mm -mm. No. And everybody going to watch you fall, boo. Everybody going to watch you fall. They could have pets dying around them if they have a pet here. Less is in reverse. They're not telling people that's what's happening. So if this person has a pet, their pet is passing away here or has passed away due to some real strong phenomena of some very dark energy. Mm -hmm. I just spirit, I'm just hearing, I don't like, I don't like the, the karmic. I don't, there's a very, very revengeful spirit. They don't like the karmic. And they will know me by name is what I'm hearing. So whatever they opened up, child. They opened up Pandora's box. Okay. Whatever. They took it way too far. Way too far. And they did not expect the backlash. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. 
they don't know the spirit, but they will know the spirit because the spirit says they will know me by name. So you calling upon spirits that you don't even know their full true name? Man, these people are just weird, bro. It's just... How don't you know what you're doing if you're playing with it? How don't you know? How you don't know these things? This is basic basic knowledge of spiritual. How you don't know these things, but you're playing with it? That's what's irritating me. Now you afraid? What you afraid for? Chin up. <laughs> Chin up, ninja. What you afraid for? You the one that drummed this up with your ignorance. Again, learn to see people and leave them alone. You don't like someone, that's fine, cool. We don't care about that. All right, cool. You don't like them, that's cool. But that don't give you the right to go out there and cause harm unnecessarily to someone that you just don't like. That would never, that would never work. That would never be okay, ever. It would never be okay. Grown ass karmic man scared out their mind. Scared. Reverting back to a fetal position or an embryo position. Cause they are afraid of, of all the things that's back back uh backfiring onto them. What they gotta do with the collective? You were told, you were told to stop. You were warned. Leave it alone. And you decided not to. That's your fault. Ain't nobody playing these games. You want to play games with your life? That's on you, Carmen. But the collector, they don't want to play no game with their life. Because their life is not a game. Period. Ain't nobody playing these games. These crazy games. Do you know what happens after you end a game? That's it. That's it. That's it. That's all. And some people can't respawn or restart this game that they want to play. So life is not a game. But who don't hear is now feeling. And you deserve everything coming to you because you refuse to feel or hear. So they being, they being, uh, they tussle in the wind. They being left in the wind. Could be an air sign too. Uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. However, resting is low vibrational. With no power. They're calling upon a, pow a power that they have. They're calling upon a higher source that refused to, to even. Uh, uh, sister could be involved. You got a sister that's struggling with drugs right now. They could be slumped out over a chair. It could be red in color, red bone. They can burn easily in the sun and it could turn into like a reddish color, but their skin tone is red. So like a lighter complected individual. So we call, we call them red bones. So they're like light, light, light complected. Sad how the turn of events turned out here. But how else were you going to learn? Dark. The dark they are in, the dark they shall be. <laughs> Air sealed tight karma. That has no time, no ending. <laughs> there has no ending. Their future generation, if they have young ones coming up here, and they're talking about the karmics, their family bloodline. If they have younger ones coming up, or the younger generation, they not they won't they will have a hard time conceiving. You're not going to be able to re re reproduce this timeline, this bloodline. Once it's done, it's done. So if they grow older in age or whatever, they're going to have a very harsh life growing up. 
People don't understand. <laughs> People truly don't understand. People truly don't understand. People truly don't understand how this works here. Hey, karma is nothing good. Nothing good at all. All they had to do was just listen, take heed to the warnings they refused to. I will never understand that. If somebody giving you good warnings, hey, I wouldn't do that. No, nah, that ain't a good look. No, nah, I will leave that alone. You know, you, there will be some harsh repercussions if you do that. You don't know what you're talking about. You ain't this, you ain't that. Oh, okay, chief. All right, well, why are you crying like this? Why are you bawling out, big fella? You're not even a big fella. You're a little fella. But why are you, why are you crying your eyes out like this, little fella, when all you had to do was take heed to the information that was given to you? I don't know why they keep thinking the collective is weak. There's nothing weak about the collective, but again, who don't hear will feel, and you're going to feel, boo. <laughs> it is what it is. You're going to feel. They feeling this wrath. From the time they wake up to the time they go to bed, and, and even if they do go to bed, they may not even go to bed because of the things that they see in here. And don't pay to be hateful towards other people. Again, if you don't like somebody, that is A-OK. -okay. You don't have to like anyone. But you do not there cause any type of harm to anyone whatsoever just because you don't like them. No, that, that ain't the game we playing over here, stank butt. Don't play them games over here, boo. Go about your life. You don't like something? That's cool. That's A-OK. -okay. But the minute you think that you can cause harm to someone, yeah, you got another thing coming. <laughs> Again, you don't know who walks with who. You don't know who walks with you, walks with who. And if you don't have a third eye or you don't have a spiritual discernment, you're not, a, you're not going to be able to see anything on that person. Walk away, boo. Not everything is always a physical fight. Walk away. Go about your life. I'm sorry is in reverse. Ain't no I'm sorry. Sorry what? That you got caught? That you hemmed up like a scarecrow in the middle of nowhere? <laughs> Listen, we told you. We said don't do it, boo. Don't you do it, no. No and no. Okay, well, who are we to stop you from getting into your karma, little fella? Little dog. <laughs> they desperate. Can you can you help me? Uh, that be a big fat negative, ninja. <laughs> no, we can't, ninja. No, we cannot. Help you? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Yeah, like I said, health is deteriorating. This person going to look like nothing but skin and bones. They're going to be all grayed out and skin and bones. So this person's age. So let's say they're in their 40s or 50s or 60s or whatever. Because there are some people that are in those ages that don't have gray hair yet. This person's whole lifespan has has uh completely like expedited so they are like only in their 40s they look like they're in their 70s they look really bad they, they look bad but that's what they were here for they were here for the chaos and okay well if you're here for the chaos and the chaos is here for you garment it is what it is thank you but pick your chin up ninja you're gonna be okay psych <laughs> never ever feel sorry for troublemakers i don't feel sorry for troublemakers i don't condone troublemakers i don't enable trouble troublemakers um i, I just don't have a, a a soft spot for for bullies i don't and this person got everything coming to them because they decided they wanted to bully you unnecessarily you could have went about your life and the collective would have been fine and you would have been fine but no you thought that you were bigger than your britches your nasty foul britches and you came around the collective with your bs with your toy story candles here and you got hemmed up and now you don't like it or well, cry us a river Again, learn to see people and leave them alone. You don't like someone, that's all right. Go about your day. Leave people alone. Don't cause no harm to anyone. Leave them alone. Go about your life. Friggin' bobblehead. <laughs> they, losing all, they losing a lot of weight that their head is bigger than their body, so they look like a bobblehead. 
vortex here. Yeah, they, they open up a vortex or a portal here that they have no inkling about. Nothing whatsoever. Yeah, just do it. Just do it. Yeah, just do it. How you want to just tell somebody to do something? You don't even have the proper edification or knowledge in regards to doing this in a safe manner. This will never be a safe manner. You don't know what you're doing, bro. Somebody name could be BJ. You could be going to BJ's, the actual wholesale place. Um, someone named is Mir, M-E-E-R, Amir. Someone named is uh, Laquetta, Laquita, Laquetta, Laquetta, L-A, hold on, L-A-Q-U-E. All right. So I don't have all the letters, but Laquetta, L-A-Q-U-E-T-T-A. -T -T okay, so my name could be Lavelle. So my name is Joe, Josephine, Joseph. Uh, I'm here at Manuel. Um, somebody could be from Mexico or you could be visiting Mexico. I'm hearing amoxicillin, penicillin. Somebody's from Jamaica. What up, Jamaica? Walk one, walk one. Yes. I love my islanders. What's up, boo? Somebody could be from Beijing, China. Somebody's going on a trip. Enjoy yourself. You deserve it. Yeah, I'm hearing vortex. They open up a vortex that they can't close and it's still open. <laughs> it's still open. The portal that they open up is still open, child. <laughs> they don't even know how to close it. Sad. You're just letting any type of anything just come in. You don't care. You just want to see the collective down. Uh, that'd be a big fat negative, Ninja. <laughs> uh-uh, Ninja. <laughs> oh, man. Only three signs that came up thus far. Um, I think I said Cancer, Scorpio, Leo. They're all, vib all low vibrational. Those are the only signs that came out. Sad. Somebody listen to Kid and Play. Somebody still uses their CD or CD-ROM or a CD, like a walk player, Walkman or whatever. Somebody still plays CDs or use CDs, okay? Someone loves Dairy Queen. Someone's initials could be K and D, KD. Could be KP as well. <sighs> I'm hearing the secret garden. So all of, all of their troubles and woes that they're going through is not a secret. Someone's name is Dia, D-I-A. Someone's name is Todd, T-O-D-D. -D. Quincy. They try to go tit for tat with you. Let them go tit for tat with the spirits. They ain't got nothing to do with you. Let them let them fight with spirits, boo. Somebody making stew chicken. Someone's name is Ty. We got Stacy. Someone's feeling very static, stagnant. Someone's from Iowa, IA. Could be from Davenport. Oh, I'm here in Sidereal, so you could be uh, watching um, astrology or learning about astrology or Sidereal astrology. Somebody has lice in their hair or they're, they're forming lice in their hair. Dancing with the stars. Somebody could be watching that. I'm not a TV person like that. So I don't know if that's still like around or whatever, but I do know this is the, the acronym for it. Dancing with the stars. That could be your favorite show. Somebody could be driving while under the influence of DWI. So better be very careful with that. Somebody from the West Indies. What up, y'all? Hey, boo. I'm hearing Diodoras. Those were sneakers back from back in the 80s and 90s, I believe. I think they had like clothing as well too, not just sneakers. Someone is cooking Texan food or Tex-Mex. Okay, or you could be from Texas. What up, Texas? You know I got to get my Texas. What up, Texas? Okay. Yeah, you have an ex that's, that's really struggling. They're really struggling right now. There's a father here that's struggling too. I 
I will. It don't pay to be mean to people. <laughs> so we got cancer, okay, and Saturn in the second house, okay? We got the sun sign of a Scorpio, all right, in the first house. So we got low vibrational Scorpio that's struggling right now. We got the moon here with Pisces in the 12th house, okay? I heard two more. All right, we have uh, Neptune in the third house in Taurus. All right, we have Leo. This is Uranus in the 10th house, okay? So somebody's reputation is completely shot, shot child. So, so far we have is Gemini. We have Capricorn. We have Virgo. Sagittarius, let's do, I'll do three more. Uh, Cancer, Leo, one more. Leo again, all right? So if that resonates, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Don't forget to grab your copy of your book here. It is readily available for you guys. I am still currently working on the ebook uh, part or section. Once I figure that out, I'm gonna let you guys know, okay? So until next time, guys, if that resonates with you in any way, shape, or form, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Till next time, flowers, flowers, flowers. <laughs>